Good morning, Grass Elementary. This is Mason and Samantha with your with Bulldog, Bulldog broadcast. broadcast. Today it's Thursday, April 18th, and day five of the special subject schedule. Our Cakes Pride theme for this month is initiative. When we show initiative, we start or begin something before others do it or without being told to do it. Let's take a look at how these stu students show initiative. Hi, I'm Alyssa, and I show initiative by cleaning my room when no one asks me to. Hi, I'm Arna, and I show initiative when I help my grandma to stuff that she really can't do. Hi, this is Bradley. I show initiative by um, cleaning, pushing the stools back at the table when I'm not asked. Hi, this is Maya. I show initiative by cleaning my bathroom when my mom doesn't tell me to. Hi, my name is Lucy, and I show initiative by cleaning my room without my mom telling me to. Hi, my name is Evelina, and I show initiative by feeding the dog without my mom telling me to. Nice job, students! Happy birthday to the following students. Zoe Peitzman, we hope you have a great day. Over our spring break, the following students are celebrating birthdays. Kara Parker and Aubrey Wilsinski on April 20th and Suzanne E. Raiden on April 21st. Special Announcements We have another author visiting Grasp on Friday, May 10th. This, this author will be meeting with 4th and 5th grade. Let's talk to Ms. Malloy about the author visit. Hello, this is Emily interviewing Ms. Malloy. Can you tell us about the author coming? I can. His name is Matt Landis, and in fact, Miss Piv texted me on a Saturday and said, this guy sounds great. And I said, oh, I know him. We can get him. He is a social studies teacher in the Central Bucks Middle School, and I know the kids are going to love him. Can you tell us about his books? I can. He has written, um, he writes historical fiction books. Um, so they are, they have some time travel in them, they're fun, and you're going to actually learn something too. This is one of his books, The Not So Boring Letters of Private Nobody, and this is about the Civil War. Great book. Um, how many books has he written? He's written two books, and another one is in the works, will be finished shortly. Um, can, we, can we get copies of these books? We can get copies of these books. We have an email that went out, I think, two days ago, and fourth and fifth graders can order copies, and he will sign them when he is here. You know what? We should go to a video of him. He can probably do a better job of telling us all about himself. Okay. All right. These are like impossible to see out of. I literally cannot see a thing. Who bought these? Is it raining? Grass Elementary, it is I, Mr. Landis, 8th grade social studies teacher at Tamanen Middle School. That's not far from you guys, Central Bucks, like 10, 15 minutes away. And fun fact, I actually grew up on a bus route that stopped at Grass Elementary. It was like Siler and then Grass and then like finally I went home. So it's going to be great to be back. I cannot wait to come see you guys on May 10th. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to spend the morning with you and then I'm going to go to Sellersville in the afternoon. It's going to be so much fun because I love talking about what I love to do, which is teach and write and hang out with kids. It's my favorite thing. I've been doing it for 12 years. I hope to do it until I am no longer living. I'm going to share with you my writer journey, right? How did I get from teacher to writer and why did both of those things get me excited? excited for both of those things, right? Um, I'm also going to share with you how you can fall in love with reading. Some of you are like, Mr. Lannis, I don't like to read. Reading is boring. That's okay. I'm going to give you some ideas and some clues. If you're like one of these readers who has trouble falling in love with the story, how you can find better stories and become a lifelong reader. And I'm also going to be doing a writer's workshop. I'm going to show you a technique I used in my own writing to kind of make stories more interesting and not horribly boring. Guys, I'm so excited to come see you, come meet you, come hang out with you, come with questions about teaching and writing, anything related. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I can't, I will make them up. I cannot wait to come and see you. Please thank your teachers and Mrs. Malloy for organizing this. It takes a lot of work to bring in somebody, especially somebody who's wearing this weird jacket. I will see you May 10th, Grass Elementary. It's going to be amazing. I will see you then.
Wow, he sounds great. Now back to our main studio. Thank you. Now outside to Maddie for the weather. Thank you, Mason and Sammy. This is Maddie reporting our weather. Today we have a high of 65 degrees and a few clouds. Friday we are expecting heavy thunderstorms. Our weekend looks like we have warm weather but a few showers. We hope everyone enjoys the spring break. Now back to Sammy and Mason in our main studio. Thank you, Maddie. We, we have so many students and teachers going above and beyond. Let's go to Sloan and hear about them. Thank you, Mason and Samantha. A special shout out to each and every third, fourth, and fifth grade student for working hard on the test this week. And a special thank you to kindergarten, first, and second graders for making sure you walked through the halls quietly during the testing. And now for our individual shout outs. From Ms. Delaney, a very special shout out to all third graders for their outstanding focus during PSSAs. From Ms. Wolak, a shout out to Mr. Krebs who beautified the courtyard last week. The shrubs are pruned and the weeds are picked. It looks lovely. From Ms. Malloy, a shout out to Mr. Jerem for being flexible and teaching his health classes in the art room to allow the author to present in the gym. Mr. Jerem is always a team player. Also, a shout out to Mr. Hassler and Ms. Fahler for a wonderful student concert. Thank you for your dedication to the students all year. Students, make sure to tell these teachers that they're showing a lot of care's behavior. From Ms. Marchunsky, shout out to Say Hawk for going above and beyond and always making sure our classroom stays clean. For Miss Abyssey, she'd like to give a shout out to Carolyn and Rayleigh for persevering through a problem. Way to go, girls. Also, Jay should get a shout out for being responsible. Keep up the good work, Jay. For Miss Smith, shout out to Emma Wong in Miss Smith's class for picking up all the pencils after library. For Miss Freed, Sending out a shout out to Salome Friedman, who is a sympathetic and caring friend. From Miss Arbogast, would like to shout, send a shout out to the following students. Olivia Carafa in Miss Belgian's class for the kindness she shows to the younger students on her bus. Her thoughtfulness and caring truly make a difference to these kids. Sam Pleibel in Miss Belgian's class for showing concern, concern and kindness to a friend who got hurt at recess. Remember, character is what you do when no one is looking. From Miss Piv, a huge shout out to my whole class for helping to prepare the room for the PSSAs. They helped her cover things up and try to keep it neat and tidy and colorful too. From Miss Pearson, a shout out to Paola Elias Rios for being polite and respectful to the lunch ladies every day. We appreciate her daily hello and great manners. Now back to our main studio with Mason and Samantha. Thank you, Thank you Sloan, Sloan, and, and nice, nice job, job students. students. We, we hope you enjoyed this edition of Bulldog Broadcast. We show our best cares behavior in the classrooms, in the bistro, on the playground, on the bus, and at home. Let us all do our part to make this a cares kind of day, because a Bulldog always cares. Have a great cares day, Grass Elementary, because at Jane Grass, we go above and beyond. <laughs>